Hey everyone, Valence here, and this is the Consuming Shadow, Insanity Edition, by Ben Yahtzee Croshaw. Uh, I've actually been wanting to play this for a long time. He uh, released this game on, uh, uh, oh, he did it, Humble, Humble Bundle? And, uh, but I wanted to wait for the Steam release because they uh, actually updated stuff. So I haven't played this yet, and I'm really excited. And for those of you who don't know who Ben Yahtzee Croshaw is, Shame on you. Uh, he runs the show Zero Punctuation on the Escapist magazine. Uh, it's a website, even though it's... Wait, is that right? Or are they just called the Escapist now? Hmm. That's pretty bad on my part. Anyway, <laughs> he also wrote a couple books, and he's actually made some other games. But this is my the first game of his that I've actually uh, is going to play. So let's start a new game. December 27th, 2013. A shadow is trying to enter our world. One of the ancients. The runes confirm it. I don't know which one. All I know is that they arrive at Stonehenge three days from now. One hope remains, the ritual of banishment. Four runes, incanted at Stonehenge, will close the gateway. The trouble is, I don't know what the ritual is. If I investigate the strange events heralding the shadow, maybe I could piece it together. That's all I have. A maybe. You could just kill yourself right now. Oh, I'm gonna. I like this game already. So apparently, this is like a roguelike game where there's like per permadeath. So you know, if you if you fucking fail, you just fail. That's it. You have to start from the beginning again. And uh, I I liked FTL and all those. You know, it's not my favorite genre, but you know, done well. Well, anything done well is good. So let's begin our journey. Don't look back. You have received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. Well, how nice. Look for intel in cursed towns. Restock at safe towns. Blesh up would probably be your best place to start. And I think this takes place in England? London? I don't know. Somewhere where I'm not familiar with. Oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely, uh, yeah, because Stonehenge and all that. Ooh, okay, so we want to go to Blesh up first, right? Because that's where we... We're, we're good on health, and I'm guessing that's sanity? Okay. Well, let's go there. 61 miles is drive. It's fast forwarding for me. How nice. Uh-oh. You have received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. Let's open it. There's fighting on the streets of Forby. They could use some hands-on assistance. Do it or don't. But if you don't, the town won't be safe for long. Well, I'm going somewhere else. You have reached your destination, bless you. Okay, enter town. December 27th, 16.02 p.m., bless you. The town is suffering under an infestation of small, scuttling creatures. They attack randomly, killing cats, stealing food, and injuring people. It is clear that this is, the ol this is only the beginning of something terrible. I feel that it won't be long before these creatures grow larger and bolder, or someone gets some monstrous infection from a scratch. This has to end now, and it is I who must end it. Well, sure, let's investigate further. I uncovered word of some kind of domestic terrorist imprisoned for sending illicit materials through the mail, and these materials apparently differ greatly from the traditional anthrax or letter bomb. All of this special packages, oh, all of his special packages were destroyed except one, which was misaddressed and returned to parcel storage. Shortly afterwards, the infestation began. The post office storage building is, I think, the next place to look. Okay. Ooh. Press escape start to view controls. Ah! That was the spacebar button, and it shot my gun. Oh, okay, here we go. So, we've left... Right, run, shift, okay, W, all right, space, yep. All right, probably gonna die instantly, but let's let's get going. I don't know why my mouse cursor is here. We'll just put it to the side. Do I even need the mouse for anything? Caution. Ooh, I can go down. Scary piano music. <gasps> What's this? I have found a set of keys. These should make exploration easier found keys very nice I like keys they let us go places I have found a dusty shoulder stock that isn't completely beyond salvage so what does this do if I wait oops improves fire rate okay I'll take it oh look I have a key so will you use it ah ah what is that oh my god 
So it died when it hit me? Five pounds and change, okay. I don't know why I'm pointing with stuff with the mouse. I should probably just play with the controller so I'm not just doing this the whole time. Because I can't let go of it. I can't just... I can't just not hold the mouse. That's just weird. So... I'll just... Just put it, put it right there. Wait, no. Go up. Now go left. I have keys. Alright, space bar is shoot. Ah! You die! I don't know what you are, but you die! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm out of bullets. Oh my god. Beat it to death. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is... Okay. Huh. Oh, what is this? The syllable Agen had many uses in the language of the ancients, most notably as the first symbol of a notorious dispel, purported to be powerful enough to banish a god. Well, that's nice. Nothing left for me here. I can escape now by the same way I came in. Updated ritual dungeon complete. Awesome. So let's just go back to the car. All right. Well, that wasn't bad. I killed the thing and... Although I can go left here, should we keep exploring a bit? Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no! We gotta run! I don't have any bowling. Oh, no! Shit! Alright, well, thanks for telling me. <laughs> the Bitai rune has been inscribed on the wall here in yellow. It could be either a marking of territory or a gesture of thanks or recognition to another god. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I don't have any ammo, so let's just go. I think this is... I think we've done enough here. Unless there's like a reload button that I'm just not privy to. <gasps> no! No! You're all supposed to be dead! The fuck? That thing was fucking fast. And I walk so... F oh, I can, I can run. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Ah! I just want to leave. Yes, return to the car. <laughs> Damn. The creatures still infest every crack and shadow of the town, but I have ensured they will no longer breed. A combined effort by the locals will be enough to exterminate the remainder. I can move on now. Cool. Let's go to the car. Okay. Wow. Alright, so... Oh, but we don't have any ammo. But then it might be, you know, I gotta, I gotta liberate that town. Let's go. Even though I'm gonna die. But I'm, I'm guessing that's going to happen a lot in this game. I know what, I know that what you're doing is important. I don't know how I know, but I feel it. Do what you have to do and make sure you come back to us. I gained sanity. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me out. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valiant effort to fight them off, but the struggle could go either way. I prepare to lend my effort to the resistance. Continue. Ah! I have nothing. I can just do this, which is pointless because I'm about to die. Ah, I wave my gun at you. <laughs> Ending G. You just die at level one. Final score, zero. <laughs> I'm amazing. Okay, well now... Oh, okay. Ending G, death. Minions killed 1 times 30. Clues found 0 times 40. Oh, no. It's, is that 1 out of 30 and 0 out of 40? 1 out of 200. One, yeah, okay, that's 1 out of. 630. Oh, but it multiplies it. I fucking uh, died from exposure to toxic substances 55 hours before the ancients' invasion. Managed to partially assemble the banishment ritual. Took a balanced approach to combat, but slightly favored melee because I ran out of fucking bullets, exterminating two enemy minions with melee attacks. In the end, subject was a run-of-the-mill lunatic. Oh, thank you. Files updated. Kill myself. No. Oh, wait, is this another entry? Oh, yeah, July 2nd, 2014. Something made me check for patterns in the runes. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did. A massive synchronization is coming, centered on Stonehenge in roughly 60 hours. I have the ability to encounter runes in the ancient tongue, but I do not know what incantation sequence will banish the evil, nor do I know which evil to banish. 
What I do know is that I will never determine these things by sitting here letting the time tick away. So basically the idea is, is to figure out what ancient is coming and you need to find the thing that banishes it. What's the logbook? Oh, okay, it just keeps track of all your games. Cool. Oops, go back. Files? Oh, okay, cool. So if I look at Scuttler, it's... Oh, maybe if I kill him or experience him more, it'll... That's a neat little mechanic. I like that. Oh, another entry. Something made me check for patterns in the runes. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did. It's the same thing, except a different day. <laughs> Begin journey. Let's do this again until I... I'm tired of dying. Okay. Set the destination. We're going to go to... Oh, it's different. It's all different. I think. I don't know England very well, so... This is basically just... Me being ignorant of a foreign country. <laughs> I have received a text. There's fighting on the streets of Watermouth. They could use some hands-on assistance. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Okay. I'm going to keep going where I'm going. Uh, okay. Well, let's set destination. Where's... There it is. But I have to go to Saxforth. Alright, let's just... Let's just go skip that one. Bye, Omsley. If you perish in despair, I'm sorry. Ooh, from a family member. Daddy? I'm a father? Could you come back, please? Grandma is really mean and she hurts us. We want to go home. Well, that's kind of fucked up. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. I feel hot and nauseous and my hands won't stop shaking. Hopefully it'll pass. I just lost some sanity because grandmother's fucking mean. I'm greeted with a startling scene in the middle of the road. A large man clutching a large and vicious kitchen knife stands over a terrified woman, apparently his spouse. He announces that he is convinced that she is possessed by the darkness, something I cannot verify from where I stand. He moves to stab her through the heart. I have only seconds to act. Um, use the stab proof? Oh, I don't have one. Restrain the husband! I get in a lucky hit and smash his funny bone giving me a chance to knock his knife out of his hand and kick him in the solar plexus. His wife is thankfully human. Hooray! She shouts at me for hurting him. Well, what? But he calls her off, thanking me for bringing him to his senses. He gives me 10 for hospital bills, and I am too polite to point out to him that I am unharmed. Okay, so your husband's about to kill you, and you're... You're mad at me for hitting him in the funny bone. I didn't even fucking... Well, okay, solar plexus, that would hurt, but... Oh, well, whatever, I got 10 pounds. But I need to go to Watermouth. Watermouth. I'm coming. I will save you. I will be a hero. Do, 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 do. Ministry. Network's down in Almsby, and I need a message couriered there within 10 hours. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go on... F fuck you! I, that was that was miles ago. I can't get there in... Well, maybe I can get there in 10 hours. Wish I could help in person, but I'm on the fine line as it is. I wired you five quid. It makes me feel useful. Well, thank you, T. All right. Let's enter the town. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valley. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same thing. Ah! You will die. I will kill you all. Man, take a lot of damage, though. I have recovered some dusty jewelry I estimated to be worth about six pounds. Well, that was it? Thankfully, my small contribution has been enough to turn the tide, and I am able to give advice on future defense. The local authorities are grateful, and when I none too discreetly mention the post of reward, seem happy to pay it promptly. Okay. Watermouth. The atmosphere is tense here, as news is spread of the darkness infecting neighboring towns. Besides that, I cannot sense this, this shadow's influence for now. Okay, so I can find supplies, which will take an hour, so let's go do that. After an hour, I found the following items on sale from individuals content to not ask questions. Okay, I definitely do need bullets. So, let's put purchase. Sold out? No! Okay, let's buy some hollow points. And then let's buy the jacket. 
because I can, and why not? And let's go back to the town. Let's visit the hospital. There is a discredited doctor operating a backstreet surgery here. They will heal me without question as long as I have the cash. I don't... Do I have a med kit? Buy illegal drugs for 15? Why would I want illegal drugs? Does that heal me? Does illegal drugs heal me? I bought a syringe that... Well, okay, back to town. I guess we'll return to the car. All right. Ooh, there's monsters here. Okay, Leia, let's go. Oops. Drive. <sighs> really? It, go it takes you like two hours to drive 61 miles? Hmm. I guess if it's not really good highway could take a little longer. The town is suffering under small scuttling creatures. Okay. Alright, let's in investigate further. Oh, it's a domestic terrorist. Cool. We're doing this again. Okay. Okay, so this is notes and it's spells. Oh, okay. So you can use this to actually do stuff. Alright, so the mouse does have purpose. So I'll leave it down here. Remember, you can sprint. Okay, this is long straight away. Oh. Oh. No. You die. I have recovered three armor-piercing bullets, which seem to have been held as a keepsake or trophy. That bastard. I gained ammo. Hooray. All right, what's... Okay, alt is... Times three, 15%? What does that mean? Oh, lock picks. Got it. It's a cool little mechanic to have, too. Oh, another locked door. Yeah. Wait, shift. There we go. Uh oh. Piano. Nope, nothing there. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's cool. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. I feel hot and nauseous, and hopefully it'll pass. Oh, and it gets all staticky. That's cool. It's a nice little effect. I have found a discarded wallet containing six pounds. Well, that's good. I gained money. Damn it. All right, well, I need to switch to the hollow points. Ooh, armor piercing. Cool. All right. Uh, wait, how do I... How do I progress? I need to find a key, or I need to successfully pick a lock. Damn it. Oh. Oh, no. I'm not going to escape from the pause menu. I've recovered a two armor piercing bullets that seem to be held as a keepsake. Well, everything's locked and I can't pick any more doors. Did I miss something? I don't think I can solve this. Hmm. That's interesting. Ah! 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 Stop it! Oh, you didn't even drop me anything. I'm considering abandoning this place to the shadows. Doing so weigh heavily on my mind, I know. Oh, I can't stay. There's nothing here for me. I already failed at picking locks, and there's nowhere else to go, so I guess... Flee? Ah, uh, what is that? What does that mean? All right, let's go to Saxforth. It's a friendly town. I can heal up. I don't know why I have not even the importance of my mission is enough to keep tiredness at bay. I have not slept in so long. My car wavers back and forth in the lane. Oh no. Oh, let's stop for a coffee. Fortunately, I happen to be nearing motorway services that are still running, and I am able to pay five pounds for a jolt of caffeine delivered through an ornate arrangement of froth. For now, my exhaustion is sufficiently at bay. Good. I didn't want to stop and take a nap because 
What if the shadow came and destroyed me? That would be bad. Saxford, the atmosphere is tense. Okay. We're gonna visit the hospital. Refill my med kit. Maxed out? What? Okay, how do I... Alright. Hold on. Let's find some supplies. Uh, I need these. Full. Oh, you're so mean. Damn it. Okay, how do I... What was it? F1? Okay, that doesn't do anything here. Maybe I gotta return the car. Oop. Thanks for reading this text, but keep in mind that they won't always be good news. Sometimes blissful ignorance is better. Well... Mm. Oh, I guess we can try going to Denton. Forty-six hours left. I'm guessing I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in the next place. As I stop briefly at a junction, a harassed looking young man in his rumpled clothing runs to my window and pleads for a ride between labored breaths. He says that there are dark forces at work in one of the safe towns and it's vitally important he get there. His hands are nervously rattling at my passenger side door handle, which I've shrewdly been keeping locked. Uh, well, I'm gonna die soon anyway, so let him in. Before I can even finish voicing my consent, the stranger hauled me out of the driver's seat and into the road. I can only watch, paralyzed with shock, as he made his escape in my car. For two miserable hours, I walked along the roadside before recovering my car, abandoned in a hedgerow with the door wide open. To make matters worse, the engine had suffered some damage. I can no longer go at top speed. Oh, fuck. God damn it. It's what I get for trying to help. I've got sightings of any mini any in, enemy minions in Sawal that need exterminating. There's some extra cash in it for you if you're willing. Well, you know what? I'm gonna die. I don't need cash. I need fucking medical assistance. The atmosphere is tense. Okay. How do I fill this up? I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> How do I go to an... Do I hit escape? Nothing else works here. Shit. Hold on. Okay. Fire gun, melee attack. Oh, you can also do it with Q and E. Okay. Notebook, F1, pause menu. How do you heal if you have a med kit? Uh, F1? Whatever. Let's go to... Forum. For whatever. I, I, I didn't read it. I didn't... <laughs> I'm just a little perplexed at this. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Out of curiosity, I stop when I see a man in a tailored business suit in the road. Why are you curious? Just keep going. Standing exasperated beside an extremely expensive car. He tells me that he has locked something important inside the car and asks for my insistence. His awareness of the shadow and its effects seems to be somewhat limited. If he isn't simply blocking it out. It takes about an hour, but after I remember a trick I once read concerning the locks of classic cars, I get the door open without causing damage. The man takes a leather briefcase from the seat and holds it out in the chest like a newborn child. I cough meaningfully, and he remembered to give me 16 pounds as a reward. Okay, that's good. Okay. Are you that X-Files paranormal investigator guy? That is so cool. Here's five pounds. Thanks. I'm glad you like that. I'm a paranormal guy. Let's see what's in this town. The town is calm and peaceful, oblivious of the shadow. My heart feels pain as heavy and as I am confronted by what we stand to lose if I fail my mission. I can... Wait, what? Why does it say kill myself? It's because my sanity meter's down? Okay, visit hospital. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. That was close. Huh. All right. No, no, no. Want to visit the hospital. I maxed out. All right. Well, I'm just going to have to... I think maybe you can only access it when you're, like, in person mode. 
you know, when you're moving around. But things happen so fast, I don't even know, like, what button to push to use a med kit or whatever. Or if it even exists. Something strikes my front bumper and I screech to a halt. I'm on a for forested path and I can't see anything in the road. I get out of the car, but there's still nothing around and not even a dent in the bumper. I am then rooted to the spot by a gruff voice coming from somewhere in the darkness ahead of me. Get away from the car, it growls. Move away from it and step forward. No, I want a military flashlight. Attempt to flee. I throw myself back at the car, but the door has fallen closed, and I fumble with the handle for a vital second. Just as I am finally getting in, there is a crack of gunfire, and something explodes painfully in the side of my torso. I put my foot down to get away, clutching at my wound. The bleeding is severe and will need to be treated at a hospital. Oh, good. Goody. I'm glad I'm bleeding to death. Hey, I'm bleeding to death. You sent me five from the petty cash to help fund the fight. Don't worry, it's on the taxpayer. Good. I'm bleeding to death. I'm literally bleeding to death. Oh my god. Enter the town and instantly die. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infestate, <laughs> infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. Oh. Okay, I still don't see a med kit thing anywhere. God damn it, I died! Ugh. <laughs> Oh, another G death. Bled to death from being scraped by an aggressive floater 30 hours before the ancients invasion. So that was not a person. That was a floater. Okay. Achieved very little of consequence. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Took a balanced approach to combat, but slightly favored guns. Firing a total of 16 bullets. In the end, subject was a heavily armed time waster. Oh. 